Hey guys, it's Vincent with Vasco Toys. On today's episode of Action Vasco, we're going to take a look at my modular ruins diorama, which I created as a versatile toy photography piece. It allows you to get several different setups so you can get the shots you've been wanting to get. Let's take a look at the diorama. Here is my modular ruins diorama. It's the first time that Vasco Toys has ever made a ruins diorama before. So I want to show you guys how th how this works and all the different pieces that it comes with and uh, show you a couple different setups. So it is a couple of different pieces. The first being this stair piece, which is all one solid piece um, that... I put together with just insulation foam board. It has several little pieces of rubble that are permanent on there and some um, chunks missing from some of the stair pieces. So that's the first piece. The second piece is the base. And then the third piece is this um, destroyed wall. So it is as if this was like an old style kind of building and these were supposed to be either windows or these are just pillow pillars with spaces in between them but so um that is one of the pieces and then there are one two three four different um pillar pieces destroyed pillars and then i also have two rubble pieces that are insulation foam board chunks and pieces hot glued together and hot glued onto just some cardstock. So we've got one of those there and then a second piece here with some smaller rubble on it. So with that said, I'm gonna kind of show you guys a couple of different setups here with everything with some figures in it and so you guys can see kind of what you can do with this. But this is meant for toy photography so hopefully you see that versatility. Here's an X-Men team shot that I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been trying to build up my collection of the Jim Lee era Hasbro Marvel Legends. So I have pretty much my, the majority of my team here in the Ruins diorama. Just wanted to get a cool kind of vanilla pose shot with the group. And it took a few minutes to get everybody posed up correctly. Can't have everyone in focus, so you'll notice in the background, Storm, Jean Grey, Gambit, and Rogue are out of focus, but Cyclops, Wolverine, and Beast are definitely in focus in the front, and I'm really happy with the way they all look here in the ruins. I think it's really cool uh, to have the X-Men in here because the diorama is primarily gray, in different shades of gray and even some some black and the x-men are very very colorful so i think that juxtaposition works really really well here in this shot
in this shot I have Wolverine getting ready to take on a group of my new articulated icons basic gray ninjas and he obviously you know this is not a combat pose it's pretty much a pre-combat pose but I think you know pretty cool setup I've just got behind behind the diorama I have just some sky blue construction paper and then a light you know shining on that to eliminate any of the shadows and then I have on this side of me where you've got this ninja here standing kind of menacingly um, I have a window on this side here so he is being lit by sunlight and the rest of the shot is being lit up by sunlight but you'll see that I uh, changed the it, from the previous shot I changed the way that the floor was positioned from like a portrait to a landscape and then I put the stairs in the back put the pillars up on top of the stairs have these broken pillars over here and there goes one of the ninjas that's okay. And let's see if we can get him to stay. And then I have the back wall piece here behind this ninja that want, likes to fall down. And, um, you know, I've got Wolverine ready to kind of take all three of them on. And uh, pretty happy with the way the shot setup came out. All right, so I've got a submission that I did, a submission photo for the dior Diorama Creators Flix Challenge, which was a photo contest on Instagram that they held where you had to recreate a non-animated scene from a TV show or movie. So I am a huge Twilight Zone fan, the original series from the 1960s, created by the brilliant Rod Serling. And so when I created my Ruins diorama, I thought it would be an opportunity to recreate the classic episode, Time Enough at Last, which stars the legendary Burgess Meredith who also plays Mick and Rocky and has been in countless things for, for anyone who's not familiar. But the part of the scene that I'm doing here is actually before he drops his glasses um, and has no way of reading all of the endless books that he now finally has time to read, this is the part where he's celebrating the fact that he has time enough at last and he says the famous line, that you know he has time enough at last. So I don't have a Burgess Meredith um, or Henry Bemis action figure, so I got a little bit creative with this. Took my Professor Xavier Marvel Legends body, slapped the 80th anniversary Tony Stark head on onto the figure, and then uh, 3D printed some some book props which are scattered throughout behind him. 3D printed that Twilight Zone sign and 3D printed the clock that I have here and then I just put everything into the into the ruins diorama and recreated this shot. So I'll zoom out a little bit so that you guys can see a little bit of the full setup. Just bear with me here. So I have you know, it, uh, using a phone uh, holder here to prop this up to the right height for the shot that I was recreating. But overall, I'm really happy with the way this came out. And this is a lot different than anything that I've done before toy, toy photography wise. And I think it just shows the versatility that you can, uh, if you think outside the box, that you can get out of these dioramas. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Action Vasco, where we took a look at my modular ruins diorama. I hope you liked the diorama, and if you did like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, at Vasco Toys. If you have any commission requests, vascotoys at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. See you next time.